Yes. Okay, I don't need to know about your masters. I just need to know if you know that or not. Um, so uh, yeah, so carbon footprint was, in case anyone else isn't aware, created um, by uh, oil lobbyists in order to um, make it really, really seem like individuals are the ones that need to change. The transferal there was an absolute win for people in power to be able to sit comfortably, continuously in power to make us all feel guilty that we're not doing enough. We have become in this world, I think, very linear about the way we think about things. It's like, it's right or wrong, it's going to stop things, it's going to start things. That's a very base uh, way of thinking. It's, it's very sort of left brain only. I think we really need to recognise that if we're going to change things, strategy is about many different activities happening at the same time. I don't believe that breaking the windows reduced the emissions. But if we all just sat back and criticised everyone else about their ways they take action, then it will just happen more quickly and collapse will happen more quickly. So I think it's about, and also to the point on the super glue, um, I'm not even going to answer that, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> um, but the, because the, 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 um, it will take too long. But I think the really key thing is let's find the ways that we can take action. If protesting isn't for you, that's fine but there are plenty of ways of taking effective action that are not about you know, just like driving this. What we need to do is pressure the government to legislate to bring those emissions down. And the way that that has happened in history has been through mass civil disobedience campaigns, the way that legislation and banks have changed their policies has been through mass consumer demand. So we need to be direct action on the streets, we need to be switching our bank accounts en masse, whether we're individuals or businesses, because it's when we do these things en masse to the key pillars of power, like government, law and banks, that's when things change. Okay, thank you.